Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we're trying to change up the EGR valve on this 1995 E250. Originally, I watched the video and somebody said it was uh, under the, um, it was inside the vehicle. You guys know what I'm talking about inside the vehicle, right? Like, I had to take this off and it was, they said it was there, but um, I don't know. I, I don't know like it's not there so I did all that work taking it off when it's right here this is what the EGR valve looks like I assumed it was right here but um, to get to it it's a pain in the butt guys all right if I, I tell you sometimes I watch YouTube and some people get it right sometimes I watch YouTube they don't get it right I'm doing more work but in any case uh, this is a V8. I, yeah, it's a V8 engine. This is a huge engine on this, and it's right here. Uh, now I gotta put all that stuff back. You guys didn't know. So basically, I'm gonna tell you guys what. I got this issue where I gotta check in tonight. It's a 95. I can't plug in OBD2 scanner. And I got this issue where if I plug, if, if the MA, the, the mass airflow sensor is plugged in, It'll stall out and dies. I changed out the mass airflow sensor, the whole entire mass airflow sensor body, and uh, still having that same issue. I don't, I don't get it. So um, I had this other uh, repair that I did on this other. Um, I think it was a six-cylinder Ford. E150 or whatever, it's a six cylinder and kind of they, they kind of had the same issue lack of power, it kind of dies out every now and then. And turn turned out it was a it was a 2007 2008. No, no, wait, it was a 90, 98 99, somewhere around there. Changed out their gas gas filter, changed out the um. Mass airflow sensor and the EGR valve and the vehicle run ran fine. So um, I changed out the uh, gas filter and this didn't seem to do any, didn't seem to make a difference. So anyway, it wasn't very dirty. So we're gonna change the uh, EGR valve and uh, see how that works. But I changed the uh, uh, air temperature sensor, changed that out. A while ago that wasn't that's not the cause of it um, in any case um, this is you know this is like an analysis I, I think if if I put an ETR valve it still has the same issue um, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna um, see if there's any I know there's a couple of things in, in the bottom. Uh, the uh, main ground wire seems to have like a really bad, it was like really, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, rusted on, on here. So I'm gonna change that and I'll see if that actually fixes the problem. I don't know what else I could look at as far as that's concerned. Uh, it's not a fuse, Arnie. It's not a fuse or anything. I actually tested out the fuse, fuses. Could be the fuel injectors, but I, I don't think it's the fuel injectors. I don't think it's the fuel injectors, but in any case, uh, leave a comment if you guys have a comment on this, guys. If you guys have the same situation, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Appreciate your time, guys. Take care.